Guys, the biggest battle Yamoshi of the Saiyan Goddess will begin against her son Hercules, but Yamoshi will receive help from his friend Namikian and you will see who will win this battle now. But first, leave your like. We will hit 3000 likes as soon as this goal is reached achieved. I'll bring you the next episode in the sequence and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos like this. Well that said, let's get started. In the seventh universe. Yamoshi with Excalibur in her hands was heading towards a mountain range of ice mountains where there wasn't even any living being. And as she knew that her son Hercules had already noticed her presence, she also knew that he was already heading towards her so Yamoshi was going to a place further away from living beings before starting a battle against his son or else many humans and animals would end up losing their lives in the midst of that titanic fight between the two Scions. Yamoshi thought, from the moment I arrived on planet Earth, Hercules could have attacked me, but until this moment he hasn't done that, so he seems like he'll want to say something before we fight each other, but no, I think it will be about regret or something similar to that. She thought as she continued flying until she landed on top of a mountain full of snow and it didn't take long for Hercules to arrive at the location and land in front of her mother with Hercules no longer transformed into his corrupted Super Saiyan God form but in its original base form. Hercules said, it seems that I was right, you weren't running away from me but rather I got up to a place where there was no living being. You are really predictable Yamoshi, even though you are a goddess of destruction you still want to save the lives of insects like humans, but I won't complain too much about that. After all, if we fought in an area full of humans, we would end up destroying most of them and probably many women, beautiful women would lose their lives, something that would be very sad from my point of view. After all, the women on this planet are very beautiful and I must admit that that lover of yours, Son Goku, has a very beautiful and attractive wife. He is truly lucky said the evil Saiyan while giving a convinced smile that soon became malicious when he remembered Son Goku's wife who ended up attracting his attention. Yamoshi said, I thought you had become someone as bad as your father, but you are acting in the same way. You ended up becoming an exact copy of him, even in the way you talk and think, and that makes you as despicable as him. She spoke in a serious and irritated tone at the same time and Hercules just laughed in a sarcastic way. Hercules said, coming from a woman like you who abandoned me is a certain hypocrisy, but that's not something that surprised me after all. What can I expect from a woman who ended up getting Goku drunk to take him to bed under the pretext of having a son powerful enough to deal with me? Said the Saiyan with a mocking smile. Yamoshi said, apparently we have nothing left to talk about, so it's time to put an end to this corrupted lineage of Saiyans. She commented while wielding Excalibur with both hands, making the sword gain a golden glow while releasing its pure energy, something that made Hercules slightly worried about that power that could hurt him a lot, but he ignored that and just smiled more. Excited to face her mother, Hercules said, Son Goku eliminated my father using this sword and now you are going to use it to eliminate me. Let's see if you will be able to do this. Let's see if you will be able to kill your own son. He spoke before releasing his corrupted energy, making the snow around him evaporate in a matter of seconds. Yamoshi sighed before squeezing the sword's hilt tightly, making the sword's shine increase which made Hercules smile even more. Hercules got into a fighting position and then advanced towards Yamoshi and he began to strike several blows at his mother, who dodged most of the blows and those that she didn't dodge. She defended with her sword and when Hercules came into contact, the sword's energy generated a burning sensation in his fists, something he didn't mind because he found that sensation amusing. Yamoshi thought, when he directly hits Excalibur with his fist emanating his evil energy, he ends up being hurt, but he still continues hitting her as if the pain was nothing. Hercules, you have become a psychotic freak identical to your father. Hercules, upon hearing that, increased his speed and strength, he became more excited and advanced towards her, transforming into his corrupted Super Saiyan God form. And as he approached her, he began a sequence of blows on his mother who was barely able to defend herself from the blows, merciless attacks from his son, and with that Hercules ended up lowering his guard, something that made Yamoshi smile and counterattack by swinging his sword towards Hercules' neck at an extreme speed and by pure instinct, Hercules ended up retreating with a surprised expression on his face because he doesn't expect that. Hercules said, damn, she wasn't kidding if I get careless she'll take my head off with a single blow. Yamoshi said, as I said before, you are identical to your father and as such you also let your guard down when you are too confident in combat. Unfortunately, you ended up dodging that attack, luckily your head would be rolling along the ground at that moment. Apparently my plan to end all this with one blow ended up proving useless, she said before sighing. After all her plan ended up failing. 
Hercules said, If you think defeating me will be that easy, then you really don't know me at all. He spoke before raising his aura, which ended up changing the entire environment around it, making some mountains collapse and the snow around it melt and evaporate, which ended up forcing Yamoshi to distance himself from Hercules. When Hercules raised his power, he simply disappeared and reappeared in front of Yamoshi with a sphere of black energy in his hands that he ended up shooting at his mother who managed to defend herself, but she was hit and ended up crossing a mountain. Yamoshi quickly recovered from his son's blow and counterattacked by swinging his sword, generating a wave of energy that cut through several mountains at the same time. Hercules ended up having one of his hands ripped off by his mother's blow, but Hercules caught his hand in mid-air and it fit into its original place and used its evil energy to bring its hand back together, making Yamoshi's blow practically useless, which generated a certain anger in Yamoshi when he saw that scene. Hercules concentrated his energy in both of his hands and soon that energy ended up transforming into blades of evil energy. Yamoshi upon seeing that positioned himself and advanced towards Hercules who did the same thing and in midair they began an exchange of blows that collided most of the time, generating fragments of energy that, when touching the ground, ended up generating explosions. Yamoshi, upon seeing a small gap, lifted Excalibur into the air and came down with all his might, but Hercules managed to defend himself and trap Excalibur with his two energy blades that he created, which made Yamoshi growl in irritation. Hercules, seeing that his hand could not dodge an attack so close, so he concentrated his energy in his eyes and fired a Kai blow through his eyes, which ended up hitting Yamoshi at close range, causing her to fall against the ground, and in the process, she ended up dropping Excalibur, which Hercules ended up catching, but dropped immediately after feeling his hand being burned at a high speed because of the pure energy in the sword. Hercules, seeing that his mother had not recovered, advanced towards her, but halfway through he ended up receiving a kick to his face that made him cross two mountains, destroying them in the process. Yamoshi said, You took a long time, Yuhiko. She spoke to the goddess of destruction with a small smile on her face when she saw her Namekian friend who had just arrived at the place. Yuhiko said, Sorry, I was looking for something to wear since your idiot son had destroyed my clothes. She said while looking at her friend and then at the place where Hercules ended up being thrown. Yamoshi said, Don't tell me, he, like father, likes to destroy girls' clothes for fun. She spoke while wiping the blood that was on the corner of her lips, and then spitting out the blood that had accumulated in her mouth. Hercules soon got up and left the place where he had been kicked by Yuhiko, and wiped the corner of his mouth that had blood on it and smiled when he saw Yuhiko, something that made the Namekian gain an expression of disgust and a certain repulsion. Yuhiko said, This bastard eliminated many Namekians from my village, so I came here to help you take care of this idiot, so I can take revenge, and I also want to take revenge for humiliating me like that. She spoke irritated, and at the same time ashamed when remembering the comments made by Hercules. With that, we will end today's video. If you want to see the continuation of this incredible story, leave a lot of likes on the video and comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So see you another day, guys.